That's it, Leah. And yes, we are making a white sauce. Michael's going to show us how to do that because it's part of the recipe we're going to be doing today. We are cooking a moussaka Greek dish. Correct, yeah, Mr. Michael. Absolutely, Mike. yeah. Awesome. So, so it's ons in uh, goeie Afrikaans. Who mark means a lekker of wit saucy? Well, <coughs> essentially what you're looking, you're looking at is to make a roux, which is, which is melted butter uh -huh. with some flour added to it. Okay. And then your milk, you can, you can infuse your milk beforehand, just bring it up to the boil, and you can put an onion in it that you've stuck some cloves into, yeah. bay leaf, a couple of peppercorns, and then you can put some mace in as well. This is the this is the outer husk of the of the nutmeg. Yes. And that gives it a lovely flavor. Wow. And you just let it stand like that for about 10 minutes or so. Alright. Um, and then um, and then you can use it to Thank you. There we go. You can use it to to make your sauce. All so right. what we're doing here is just getting the butter melted. Alright. <clears throat> and now if you want you can take you can take your butter so it's just starting to go that's a lovely nut brown color okay um, and that just adds a little bit more flavor to the sauce mm -hmm. and then <clears throat> you can do the same with the with the flour you can put the flour in take the flour just a little bit further by getting it a light brown color that's it and then away you go all right so obviously you want to make this you just make sure that the butter is completely melted before you start yep. in to start put the rest of the stuff in and then you want to you want to add your flour and you and you want to cook the flour a little bit because you want it to you yep. want it to bloom so that it can accept the mm -hmm. can accept the milk all right so here we go put the flour in. in there and of course you can make different thicknesses of of bechamel as well. You uh -huh. can make it quite thick, and you can you can add rice and chopped hard-boiled egg and parsley, etc., to it. Um, and then you can make a lovely croquette. You can just crumb it with uh, panko crumbs. Now I'm just letting this cook for a short while, and I like to put all the milk in together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then just to whisk like crazy. <laughs> whisk like crazy. Because easy. then you can you break down the the roux then, and let's just get the. The flame up as high as you got can. It. No trying to organize our new kitchen. Absolutely. It's That's it. What so do you think of our new kitchen? I love it. I think okay. it's stunning. Beautiful. Yeah. So, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And then obviously you can just season it with some salt and pepper and away you go. All right. So there's your, there's your bechamel. It'll take a little while to thicken, thicken up. I'm not sure that yeah, we're there we go. going to have enough time with this, yeah. this time round. So you, you would just not kind of cook it for a little just bit? Just cook it in until, obviously, until the flour is cooked and, and yeah. the sauce is thickened up. So it comes a little but bit But we've thicker. got some which we'll use to make the lovely. Um, moussaka with later. Lovely moussaka with a... A very nice ingredient that I really like to use, brinyols. Yes, absolutely. Love it. Can't yeah. wait. Now, I'm sure, have you watched some sports over the weekend? Oh, Did, yes. Yeah? Big weekend in sports, Stunning. of course. Man United versus Ajax. Absolutely. Graham, it's got all those details. It's at the All Seasons Milk Factory where we found goodness produced on a daily basis. Pick and pay, always there for you. That's it. Thank you, Kia. Yes, we are making a moussaka dish, which is a Greek dish, Mr. Yeah, Olifi. absolutely. All right, so a, little, a few minutes ago, we showed you how to make a bechamel sauce that's going to go with this recipe, a lack of Yep. So that's nicely. not done. Come on nicely. Looks yeah. very, very nice. You guys can see that came out very nice. Thickened up nicely as well. Very smooth and creamy. So, Mr. Michael, the rest of the stuff. The moussaka. Of the stuff. Tell okay, me a bit well, about this dish. Well, this is, it's a sort of classical um, Greek dish and usually made with made with lamb, sometimes even sort of leftover roast lamb that's just sliced and, and, and layered. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cook the onion here. Yes. And then we're just going to add all sorts of lovely things. We're going to add... <laughs> Love it. All we're sorts of lovely things. rosemary, we're going to add um, cumin. Mm. Yes, as soon we're as that rosemary hits that hot plate, it's, oh, it smells amazing. Some cinnamon there, some garlic. Sure. Just keep going. The smells coming out this pot is amazing this morning. Of, touch of sugar, a little bit of red wine vinegar, lots of flavoring going in here. Ooh, there we go. And then we'll add some tomato paste as well. I think we'll just get the temperature down a bit there. All right. I think we're doing the right one here. Yep. That's it. And we can add some red wine. Mm -hmm. And then we can add our uh, this is beef mince that we're using here. Okay. Let's just mix that up together. There we go. So it's quite and a then, little a few the small ingredients that you need for this dish, but it's very easy. If you would like this recipe, just SMS the keyword Brinyol to 33728. And then you can have everything on your phone. You can go do that shopping of yours. Add some nice beef stock there. Nice. 
and right. some canned peeled tomatoes. You turn up the heat a little bit there again. Yeah, that's it. Got it. So that. Right, so there we go, and we can just cook that away gently. Okay, very nice. I love the ingredients of this dish. And it's, of course, it's just so wonderfully flavoursome. And here's some that we've yes. that we've cooked out up All ahead, right. and you can just have a smell of that. That is just so. This one has been cooked up now. Yep. Mmm. That smells good. That's smells fantastic. Amazing. Oh. So here we have our our bechamel sauce. Yep. Now, so I want to know where the brinjal comes in now. That's it. So, yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add an egg here. All right. And just get that in quite quickly so that it doesn't it doesn't scramble. All right. And then we've got some got some lovely grated parmesan. Mm hmm. It's going to nicely thicken up that sauce even Absolutely, more. Absolutely, and add a ton of flavour to it. Definitely. So now, now it's quite an easy operation from here. All right. We're going to put a little bit of bechamel in the bottom. Okay. So as your layer. Yeah, and we just go. spread it across the the bottom. Okay. And then we'll go. We'll go with a layer of of the of the aubergine. Mm -hmm. How did you make the aubergine? This is just um, this is just sliced very thinly and then um, grilled on one of these on one of these ridged pans. Nice. And I must say, I'm an can... absolute fan of making brinjals on the braai. Oh yeah, a little just olive oil, a little bit of salt. That lovely smokiness that they get. Right. That's it. Now let's go with a layer of that on okay, top. Okay, here we go. There we you go. You know something? I think you can put it all on. That's it. All right. Let's put it all on. We'll put another layer of the brindles on top. Very nice. And then we can just spread it almost there. Mm. Okay. There go. Just and turn this just off. Spread that out. We'll put another layer on top here. Mm. Maybe having to work, having to work <laughs> fast this morning. Definitely. Oh, that looks, that's starting to look amazing. And of course the flavour is just, just incredible. Because imagine lovely. the flavour the brinjals add. Mm. Such a nice just unique flavour. There we go. Alright, and then top it off. And then we'll top it the off rest of this. Of your sauce. And then mm. if you'd like to just take that cloth under the Fresh Living magazine there. Okay. And grab the one that we've pre-prepared out cool. of the oven. To so talk about the Fresh Living magazine, the recipe is in there as well. Absolutely. Right. And this is a really lovely old classical, That's it. classical recipe. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just stunning? That one we can put in the oven. That one can go into the oven. For sure, we're going to have a nice breakfast this morning. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> and then here we have our, our, finished, our finished dish. Mm. I'll just dish a little. Portion out. Oh, look yeah. at that, how that's cream, that, uh, that that's sauce, fantastic. vegetable sauce just kind of settled on top there. And it looks nice and brown. The keyword, oh. of course, Brinjal to 33728. You can get the recipes. You can also get the Fresh Living magazine. It'll be right in there. But SMS that keyword, Brinjal to 33728. You have it on your phone. You can go do all the shopping and make this. Surprise that loved one at home. There we are. Isn't that fantastic? Mm -hmm. Nice. And I think looks what we'll do fantastic. is we'll wipe that corner of the dish. You know, presentation is everything. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Michael. Don't go away. We're going to taste this. We'll see you right after this.